Ronnie or Ronald. There's a saying about a guy named Ron, too. Once you go Ron, you never go wrong. That's so bad. Okay, uh, Ron, can you tell the folks at home what we've been up to in dad metal lately? Can you tell them a little bit about, like, the black metal thing? Yeah, yeah. So, first off, with the current lockdown, um, I learned a bit about stingrays. Uh, they bury themselves in the sand to avoid predators. What the f- are you going five. on about? <laughs> <laughs> I said, tell them about the black metal thing. Yeah, there's 75 different types of stingrays. They are a type of fish that are closely related to sharks. If you keep going on about this, I'm going to cut in that educational video that you did for your school that you work at. I don't work at a school. I worked as a wacky, waving, inflatable arm tube man. I went manic for a bit. I had to go see a counselor named Dr. Marvin Vaughn fix it. He solved the problem, and I'm back to wrong. <laughs> Anyways, stingrays uh, breed during the winter. Stingrays only breed during the... Wow. Yeah, their venom can be used to kill or relieve pain. Did you know that? I didn't know that. Anyways, so Dan is going to keep playing Legend of Zelda, and I'm going to tell you about what Dad Metal's been up to. Oh, what is going on here? So, uh, I, we here at Dad Metal, we do a lot of uh, we do a lot of stuff. We did the news recently. That, that was pretty huge for us. But the main thing that Dad Metal's been doing They didn't lately, even pay us to do the news they said well, no, they- get out of our studio you're blowing everything up and i was like we're here to entertain we're dad metal they thought we were idiots that's what they said on the way out most important thing with the dad metal universe is we're working on a new album and it's called buy a shirt it is called buy a shirt <laughs> it's called buy a shirt and you know what that means people link. you gotta buy a shirt yeah link buy a shirt it's got all kinds of different songs on it there's a song about a sasquatch there's a song we just recently did called black metal parenting that's a good time we got our buddy ryan who sounds like a demon to feature on it straight up satan All right, you see what I cooked here? Uh, Skip the dishes. Spicy sautéed peppers. Skip the dishes would have been easier, though. Black Metal Parenting's coming out. Uh, We did a a pirate song. Uh, Oh, oh, uh, we're working on a song called Clubbing Baby Seals. Don't freak out. They're just in a dance club. They're physically going to a club. Yeah, they're clubbing physically, for sure. They're clubbing. They're dancing. They're having a great time. And if you're an animal lover and you're hearing this... You just wait, because when this music video gets made, you're going to be so proud of these seals for clubbing. We're going to have a special guest at the end. Oh, I'm still going to die. Oh! Who is, uh, who's our special guest, Dan? I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Well, I'm not, I'm not going to tell you. Betty White? We're not huge enough to get Betty White to come and advocate our seal clubbing. Um, Well... I mean, for the ladies that lack a man in uniform. Sometimes I wonder, like, how is Betty White doing? How is Danny DeVito doing? How is Willie Nelson doing? These people need to be bubble wrapped in this day and age. They need to be in a dad battle video. Like, you know how those rappers nowadays have those videos where, like, all the like the pretty women are on the cars and stuff? Except we just get a bunch of dads. Uh, a bunch of dads, and, like, a- instead of, like, hot models and bikinis, we'll get a bunch of old actors that, like, aren't doing a whole lot these days. What if we call up our buddy Daddy DeVito? DeVito. Daddy DeVito. Daddy DeVito. Gosh, I don't want to be, I don't want to, you know, make too many jokes about Italians or anything. Like, we should probably really reel it in with this character. I'll let you take care of Daddy DeVito. Well, our viewers don't know this, and I am of Italian descent. He doesn't talk about it much, but... I don't, because I'm very Southern. Uh, My family grew up in Cincinnati, and uh, we moved to Canada when I got a job as a wacky, (laughs) waving, inflatable arm tube man for an MMA dojo here in Sudbury. Ontario. Started working as a uh, wacky waving inflatable arm tube man. Started feeding my kids. And then they fired you. And they fired me because apparently I was making kids cry, but I graduated wacky waving inflatable arm tube man university, so I don't understand what went wrong. I just figured out the puzzle. Is it going to give you a shirt? 